Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series on the channel, Half-Life, for the very first time. So this is going to be my uh, blind playthrough of the very first Half-Life game, the original, and we're playing that one on PC, naturally, and it's just, you know, this one is just a series that never came across my radar, you know, I was playing completely different games at the time, uh, not really having a gaming PC at all, what I played on the family computer was uh so different to this kind of stuff and then like i wasn't playing i wasn't aware at the time that this kind of stuff was on like playstation and xbox that kind of stuff uh, i think i'd seen the orange box bundle on xbox 360 but again all games that i uh haven't played no experience in like portal half-life like team fortress all that kind of stuff i just know them by name uh but it's about time that we get through to half-life because i've actually been very curious to check this one out uh, like what I know about Half-Life is uh, this character's name is Gordon Freeman, not to be confused with Martin or Morgan, <laughs> and uh, he's got a Lambda symbol, symbol on his chest, and he's a scientist? Yeah, and also Half-Life 3, that's a meme. I'm, I've been fully aware of the whole Half-Life 3, Valve can't counter 3 meme thing. That's like bigger than, that's almost bigger than gaming itself in terms of a meme. So I, I am aware that like Half-Life is a very beloved series and, and franchise. And um, one of the most interesting things to me that kind of got my attention for Half-Life is Half-Life Alex on VR. And like seeing that that's been like very highly praised as a, as a true like virtual reality title. So I'm actually very excited to get to that game eventually. Uh, very curious to go through such a long running and um, infamous series for, you know, it never getting its third game. And I've, I've watched like, uh, there's like a YouTube video that I just thought would be entertaining when they like talk about like Gabe Newell doing his interview on Half-Life 3 for like a decade and just watching it go from, we're working on this to, I can't talk about that to no idea what you mean, you know? So that's kind of what I'm, what I'm aware of. And then one of the things that was also pushing me in the direction to play Half-Life was uh, we recently played Death Stranding on the channel, the director's cut, and uh, there was like Half-Life crossover stuff. Uh, and I think Portal as well in there. So um, it was very bare bones. Like you get this dude's glasses and, and stuff like that. And like a hat of like a creature. But I'm not sure um, what that's all about. We will find out. Uh, so just to before we jump into a brand new game. I did just want to quickly give a shout out to my lovely and wholesome Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for voting for this game. This is the first Patreon poll game of 2022. I wanted to go back to uh, a list of classic titles that are on my radar that I want to take a look at. And interestingly enough, this one beat out uh, a couple that I thought might, uh, might win this time around. So very excited to finally have the chance to get into Half-Life. So again, thank you to my lovely patrons who voted uh, for this game. The ones that lost will definitely have to come back around to those because I really want to get into it. But without further ado, guys, we're going to jump into a new playthrough, new game, the very first Half-Life. Let's get into it. Okay, so it looks like we've actually got a level of difficulty or the training room uh, and then clicking play. So I'm assuming with uh, or the training room means that it's going to like take us through the ropes maybe, which is probably a good idea because I we have not played a game like this before, uh, especially on the PC on the old keyboard and mouse. So that's going to be interesting to adjust to uh, for sure. And also apologies if you're going to hear click clacking in the background of all of the keyboard and whatever, you know, my setup is not perfect at filtering out uh, everything as much as I do try, uh, but we'll jump into training room, I guess, and then maybe it will suggest a difficulty and then we can choose one. I think we're just going to go with medium anyway. Um, but the training room might help us really get an, a feel or an understanding of, uh, the game and its controls. So let's play training room and, uh, see what we get into. Um, I guess we've just been thrown right into it. We're on the hazard course. Oh, um, that's loud. Uh, okay. Alright, those sound effects are loud. Hold on a minute. 
let me go into my my audio. I've turned the sound effect volume is way down. All right, hold on a minute. All right, maybe that maybe that could be Hello a little better. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of a hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Okay, wonderful. The Black Mesa Training Facility. Um, yeah, we're really gonna have to like get into like get used to doing some controls. With this is the troubleshooting section as I figure this out. But here's my suit. Um, sound effects are very loud. And that's, that's taken that all the way down to like almost nothing. Um, we obviously want our voice to be heard loud and clear. I'm not sure about what the suit volume pertains to yet. I'm assuming it's something to do with this bad boy. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV. The HEV Mark IV. For use in environment conditions. Okay, wow. Uh, this is going to be something to adjust to for sure. So let me, is there, is there subtitles? Can I make subtitles happen just so I don't miss anything? High sound quality. Uh, there's mouse sensitivity. There's no subtitles. So apologies to those of you who might miss dialogue and I might miss it too. Um, subtitles option is always pretty good, but unfortunately not. So uh, I'm going to need to figure out a call. I'm going to need to figure out what the use button is so I can interact with things. It's the E button. E. Oh, okay. We don't press E to open doors or am I going the wrong way? Oh no, okay, you're open now. I just had to walk the wrong... Okay. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. Okay, I'm doing, I'm doing my best, honey. Let's... Okay, so this is the E button. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. Wonderful. I'll see you just around the corner. Okay, lovely. I mean, at least like basic, basic control wise, basic control wise, movement, looking around, interacting with things, feels pretty straightforward. Uh, and we get a nice little uh, decline button, decline sound effect when we're not supposed to do something, I guess. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. Look at that fucking hologram go. All right, nice. I think, um, I'm assuming the MP3 volume must also be the voice. So I might bump up the voice a bit to make sure that can match me, but the sound effects. Bam. Maybe the MP3 volume isn't that. I'm just making, I'm just watching just to make sure that I can have everything perfect for you guys. Trial and error of a brand new game, especially one on PC, so bear with me while I, I get this done and I embarrass myself. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. Uh, oh, okay, it's hold down. Hold down left control to crouch. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very gotcha. I hardly noticed you. On to the next area. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Okay. Now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then... Yeah, how about that? Oh. You're up there. Oh, I'm being watched. I'm being watched by some sciencey boys. In lab coats. What's up, Doc? 
Okay, on to the next move. To these pipes, you'll have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in midair, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. <laughs> okay, the old crouch jump. Okay, hold on. Nice. Flawless execution. First try. Um, yeah, woo! That's right, baby. Um, I was made for these sorts of things. Nice. That's definitely not awkward at all. And now we got to do it again. <laughs> Alright, sick. Loading. This is such an interesting training course. Why can't I? I'm stuck in this pipe. The different noises, right? Uh, like environmental noises and when you're walking on different stuff. That's really cool. That's neat. Walk directly into the ladder. Look up and continue moving forward. Nice. Want to come back down, just move backward. Just move backward. Alright, that's easy. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they Good. are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. If you could make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. Huh! Huh! Yeah! Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Oh. I thought, okay. Alright, well I guess that, fine, that's good. Long jumping requires a charging <gasps> A jetpack! To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. Oh. Cool. Okay, while moving forward, hold down duck key, then press jump. Wait a minute. That's kind of dumb, though. It takes me into a crouch. Oh, it works, though! Okay, it works. Fuck yeah. Alright, I believe you. There you go. That's a bit awkward, but I'll fuck with it. Fuck it. <laughs> Most of the sound effects that we've heard so far is just my own... My own footsteps and making music on ladders. <laughs> okay. Start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it and pressing the use key. Looking at it and pressing the use key. All right. Um, if the vo voice volume is not tied to MP3 volume, I'm gonna actually turn that down a bit because that might end up being something completely different, and it'll deafen all of us. So I'll turn that down a bit. Yeah. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. Am I? If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. I was just about to look at this thing and I'll be like, I'm, I'm about to take fall damage. Look at all the blood here. Hey, yeah. All right. So I've gone down from 100 to 80 health. Okay. I hurt my leg. Is this health? You will find yes. Med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Okay. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. Okay. Put your finger in the hole to get healed. All right, I, I got a feel for it. It's good. It's good. It's archaic, but it's good. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Oh, they really just decided that they would give the hologram an echo in this room in particular. Okay, uh, spin, baby. Nice. And then I got a. Oh no, it's going back. Shit. <gasps> nice. Okay, cool. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. And try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward against 
the box and you can push it into position. Okay, cool. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly oh. backward. The box will come along with you. Nice. Um, if I got to jump up these, okay. Oh, oh, oh no, I can just push them. <laughs> I can just push them to make stairs. <gasps> Finally, works. You can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the debris. Simply smash your way through the debris. Nice. How makes like a wood crack? Nice. I was just te I'm testing the the use of sound effects is, is pretty good. Cockroach. That's not a cockroach. What the fuck is that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Eventually. Nice. Let me out of this cage! Uh, crouch. Attack. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I should have read that, I just assumed it would break. Alright, what the fuck? Hang on, I've done something wrong. Hologram, can you let me know what the fuck I gotta do here? It popped up and then I just assumed that I needed to break. Crouch. I'm crouching. That's really annoying for my ears. Oh, use key? Oh. No? It just decided, okay, it eventually broke? Is it really that strong? That's fucked. Why is that so strong? Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Uh, watch my flashlight key. Uh, is it F? It should just be F, right? That would make the most sense. It is F, baby. There you go. Oh, there you go. I can. Oh, okay. Do I have a limited battery? Fifteen percent. Oh, okay. Suit, suit battery. Okay, the sound effects in this game. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> the sound effects in this game are so, uh, so uh, like apparent. They take main stage, dude. Smashing and crashing in my ears. This is not a very powerful flashlight. I mean, I really don't need the flashlight. I know where I gotta go over there, but I kind of wish that the power was a bit. <laughs> Uh, kind of wish that the flashlight was a bit stronger. Maybe like illuminate my surroundings instead of just straight ahead of me, but whatever. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Okay. Target range access. Welcome to the <gasps> target range. Bro. Oh my god. Okay, there's guns. Loading and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. Oh, okay, fuck. Look at all this shit. I'm stacked now. How do I how would we fire the grenade? Is it right click? You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Targets will break only when hit by grenades. That's it. All right. That's the. That's. In five, four, three, two, one. I I got it. Where the fuck? Oh. Come, come back here. No, oh, fuck it. Get you. Oh, well, that was fucked. <laughs> uh, uh huh. You have completed the Black Mesa target range. Nice. To the next area. Let's fucking go, dude. That's how you climb up ladders. Suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. Okay, swimming. Is that movement the same? Ooh 
Press your forward key, aim with the mouse as you swim. Oh, nice, easy. Ah! Ah! I'm drowning. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. Nice, that was... okay, that was... nice and easy. Okay, good stuff. Love to see it. This is a charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, step up to any charger and press your use key. Your suit will recharge gradually until the charge unit is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. Okay, nice. Uh, HEV, so hazardous environment... V. I don't know what... I don't know what uh, H E uh, what's the V stand for? Because they've said hazardous hazardous environment uh, something, and then hazardous environment suit, hazardous environment vehicle. We are a walking tank. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Okay. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Ah, okay. There we go. Ah, ah. Radiation activate. Oh God. And radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with the luminous icon. Let me out of here. Oh fuck. Uh, how the fuck do I activate the Geiger counter? Jesus, you think that would just be there automatically? Spray logo. Um, I ain't seeing that, so maybe that's actually not a thing. Does that, is that automatic? Get me the fuck out of here! Oh, there's the nuclear, okay. There's the logo, I see it. Fucking hell. <laughs> I wish that there was subtitles. I apologize for the lack of. Hopefully they fix that in, in the sequel. I did consider playing the Half-Life 1 remake Black Mesa, but uh, I, it, it did come to the conclusion that I would like to play the original first to see why it's so iconic, um, you know, and where, you know, they started this series instead of just jumping into a remake and then Half-Life 2. Because I believe the Black Mesa remake, uh, I'm aware it's a fan-made one because I also saw news related to that, but it's like officially endorsed type deal. Um, so potentially I'd replay Half-Life 1 later with like a Black Mesa uh, remake, which would be like, you know, probably a bit more fluid, obviously a lot more modernized, but, um, we'll, we'll make do, you know, we'll, we'll make do, we'll, we'll see how we go. I mean, if it, if this ends up being an absolute disaster, we can always get Half-Life console version, <laughs> if, if something unexpected happens, or we can just switch over, we'll see. But I expect that this should be fine. This should be fine. This training course took longer than I thought, but it really has taken us through the ropes, dude. It's showing us what it's all about. Beep. What a vast array of uh, sound effects. I love it. Lead a security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. Okay. Just approach a guard and press your use key. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Soda pop. Sure. Follow you. Yeah, you fucking will. All right, let's go, bud. 7G. They've got 7G here. We're in the future. Forget 5G. Can I talk to you? Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Okay, sure. Fuck yeah. Uh, I am amassing a following here. I'll follow you. Oh my god, I've got a squad. You fucking get. No, you go first. <laughs> no, you go first. Come on, boys. Let's go. You still coming with me, right? Guy who opened the door. You better. You might. You. Huh? I can only have two at once. No. Nice. All right, keep coming with me. What about the other guy? Come on. I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. You are not. Come with me. Yes, I will follow you if you want. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I refuse to go another step to engage. <laughs> okay. Your forward and backward keys to increase. Ah. Electronic tracks. 
I refuse to go another step. All right, I just wanted friends, dude. All right, let's fucking... There ain't no stopping this train we're on. Boom. Let's fucking go, dude. We driving trains, too. Train driving simulator. On completing the Black Mesa Hazard course, you are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. Fuck yeah, dude. I am forklift certified. All right, that's the training room done. That's the training room done. Uh, and now uh, we, it doesn't suggest a difficulty. That's what I thought it would do. But we just pick medium and let's play the game. Now we play. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. The topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained. 68 degrees at all times. I gotta aim at the speaker to get the louder volume because <laughs> it's all. Cool way to show you like the facility and what's going in you literally have your like I'm headed to work on my train you know showing you everything that's really neat as you enter new areas and it needs to freeze the game for a moment This way. Of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and to wait further instruction. If it is necessary to accept the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. All right. Circular looking door. How ominous with the red light, too. Oh, clever. So I guess we're in some sort of facility that deals with radiation, judging by a hazardous protection suit with hazardous environments. And there was a little pool of radiation we in a, I don't know, is this nuclear related? Are we, are we building nuclear weapons? Ooh, subject, Gordon Freeman, male, age, 27. Damn, he does not look 27. Mind you, I don't look 26. So, don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Position, research associate. Assignment, anomalous materials laboratory. Okay, level three, clearance. Gordon Freeman looks like he's in his mid-thirties. So do I, probably. Disaster response priority discretionary. Oh. Little robot boy? Little robot man? What's up? That's cool. What's up, baby? This is this is so cool. It's a it's a long-winded travel, but you get to like witness these different like areas and environments and stuff that's going on to really kind of like build you the world and paint it for you. We just keep entering like more and more mysterious circular doors. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> that's not a door. Uh, it did look surprisingly untextured. Here's the radiation. 
Are we gonna fucking crash into the... Okay, it got out of the way. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous Ooh, we can go in the radio it can go in the radioactive pit contact your radiation safety officer immediately work safe work smart work safe work smart your future depends on it that is a perfect tram voice that takes me right back to catching my own trams in this city now arriving at <laughs> Flagstaff Station. Please step uh, back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Oh. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Shit, I forgot to I forgot to pay for my ticket. And productive day. I'm gonna get fined. Get me out of here. Freeman, looks like you're running late. I had to take a training course. That's why. Um, it was mandated. So you can take it up with management. Follow me. Can we do this later? Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Sorry, sir. Hey, hey, hey. Catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. Oh yeah, you fucking will. Alright. Um hey, I'm late, mate. You need to let me in. I'm late apparently. It's the first I've heard of it. I got uh radioaction radioactive materials to uh study, I guess. That's what I'm what I'm getting up to. I got chemicals to process, dude. You wouldn't understand. And I don't have this HEV for nothing. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, anomalous, anomalous materials. Anonymous materials. Oh, cool. Check the lobby out. Black Mesa Research Facility. Hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. <laughs> Why have my full name? Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. For you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. It's one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. I'm 10 minutes late, and your whole system goes to crap without me. That's still nominal. No, it's unnominal, sir. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. You're an experiment. What the fuck is this thing? Should I just press random buttons, guys? Maybe I'll actually make your problems worse. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? No, maybe. Oh, God. What have I done? What? What? You trying to get me into trouble? Oh, I thought I was talking to you. What did I press? What did I press? This guy? <laughs> what did I press? The book? <laughs> what did I press? Okay. I've accidentally uh, caused a, a reactor meltdown. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's stuff that I can interact with or not. Apparently, I can interact with that dude. Uh, anomalous Matt Labs. Research development. Personal facilities. What's up, baby? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. All right, slime ball. I can't be bothered right now. Everyone's so rude here, just because I'm a bit late to work. Finish. Like, come on, mate. You'll just have to wait until after the test. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Please leave me alone until <gasps> the experiment. I just ran into your twin brother down the hallway. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, is this soundproof glass? I can't hear what they're saying. Hello? Oh, I'm not allowed in. Who's this guy with the suit? He looks important. Hello? Oh, actually, I can hear what they're saying. I can no longer hear what they're saying. Oh, it's all muffled. Damn it, we can't hear what they're saying. Oh, I can go in this. I can't. Okay. Mm. Private meeting between Einstein and the suit. I wonder if I should run that test again. <laughs> okay. Look at the quality on this board, baby. Everyone's certificates in order. You're all looking good. Ah, yes. The periodic table of elements. 
Lovely. Glad you guys are keeping up to snuff. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Oh god, everyone's got to fucking stick up their ass. Oh. All uh, right, you can't. You won't talk to me. This is going to run perfectly today. Don't you be bothered right now? Okay, sir. Can I enter? Ooh. Aren't you a bit worried about that exponential cascade scenario we discussed? I hope you're not needing this chair because it is mine now. Delay for another recalibration. Oh, I just threw that chair. Jesus, hang on, I can throw this chair. Check this out. If I just, if you press use the E button and push forward, you can just yeet that shit. Oh, surely. Oh, you can. Ha <laughs> ah, ha! For suckers, you'll. You'll never guess who did it! It wasn't me! Sir, I'm late, and I've, uh, I'm apparently very important. Oh, what? What's this? I, I'm not authorized. I thought this was my spot. Oh, hang on, that's the coolant facility. Never mind. Uh, sorry guys, I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, fuck, I got lost. <laughs> this way! Shit. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, hey, I know that you know that I work here, but where do... My glasses again. Oh, I'm... Uh, I've never... I don't know. What's up, baby? You'll just have to wait until after the test. Can I... <gasps> I can do it. Oh, God. Give me that. Oh, I can just drop one, but I can't take it with me. No. Give me that. Lame. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Actually, at this point, it's more like 35 minutes. Oh! My God, what are you doing? I'm just pressing everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ruined his lunch. <laughs> Shit! Get me out of here. It wasn't me. Uh, fuck. How do we? How do we get out of here? How do I get to my job? Is this my job? Simulation results are perfectly acceptable, you know. Backman. All right, hang on. Surely. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Uh, there I am. Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure? Oh, look, I have a child. I mean, I I hope I have a child. I hope there's not a random baby. Is this my suit? Oh. Uh, no. The 37th Mandala, uh, the Orchard Eater, and Sticky Notes, unused, and uh, apparently my suit. Yes, this all looks nominal. <laughs> what? This looks all nominal, he says, while taking a shit. <clears throat> Hello? That's odd. Hello? You occupied? Okay. Remember to report that fluctuation. I guess we ignore. Ah, oh, there's my suit. Uh, yes. <laughs> nice suit. Suit acquired. Protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. High impact reactive. Let's put a fucking banger of a tune in the game when you get your suit. Does my suit have its own theme song, dude? My suit got its own theme song. That's fucking incredible. Holy crap. I guess we're going back this way now. <laughs> and then there's no music. It's just quiet. Oh, it's just quiet. Except for when you pick up your suit. Can I go through authorized access now? Or is it this way? I think it's this way. 
Please leave me alone until after the experiment. Everyone's so antisocial. Go right on through, sir. Looks oh. Like you're in the barrel today. I can't be bothered right now. Okay. Oh, retinal scan? Alright. Time to go to work. Black Mesa. I wish I could read that. I wish I could read that. That's a shame. Uh, hydroelectric... Damn. Black Mesa Security Force. I must... I must... Yes. Uh, I fucking agree with that, dude. You must. Um, that looks like where we need to go. <gasps> Working as a team. It's the only three scientist NPCs we have in the game. Technology! Helicopters! Radioactive trams. Alright, let's go. Open her up, boys. I'm late enough as it is. Uh, we're in the tube today? Is that what the god said? We're in the tube? We're in the tuba? Fucking... I know what I'm doing, dude. I'm a qualified professional. I've been working here for... I don't know. How long would, I, how long would a 27-year-old have been working in a facility like this? Hmm. Who knows? Oh, I can ladder out of here, everyone. What's up? What if it's the same guy every time and they're just running to keep ahead of me? It's good to see you too. Oh man, at this point, 30 minutes would be, they'd be grateful for that. <gasps> it's my security clearance level. Alright, we got, we got water, we got hydro power. Alright, good. I can fuck with that. Control room. I'm finally here, guys. I'm ready for work. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. Anti antimatter prescription. Concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. In the test chamber. How about that? Uh, how about that system crash, guys? You got that all under control? <laughs> you guys are useless without me, huh? All right, let's get this started. Test chamber. Oh wow. Hello there. Oh. Oh Jesus. The fuck. What the hell is going on with our equipment? What is meant to be this in the first place? Um, this place is falling apart. Why are we doing an experiment? Is this tied to the experiment? The whole lamp, this, this place is falling apart, but I guess we'll just, I just chuck me in the tube, man, wherever you need to go. I need to take my payday so I can go home to my child that I have, maybe. I'm not sure on that yet. I could, it just could be a random baby picture just to remind me of what I could have, but I don't have because I spend too much time working with radiation. This all looks nominal. This all looks nominal. C33A. Perfect. That's, that's just what I was looking for. Oh, Barry Jenkins, what's up? A bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. What? Yes, but with good reason. This you better fucking tell me now. Us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We have yes, I am. That nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's that is the best thing... But you won't regret that statement, sir. I was made for this. I'll do you proud, and I'll do you even prouder, sirs. Let's get it. All right, I'm in a tube. What are we doing? Um, there's a computer over here. Should I mash the buttons? That sounds good. 
may I ask them? Testing. Hello. Yes. Seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. See, I told you I'm a professional. I'm already in the right spot. I started the rotor. It's happening. Uh, is this our emergency shutdown? It big red button? That's looking like it. We good? We'll take it from here. Oh. Guys, why can't you just put this TV outside of the chamber? I'm not actually doing anything in this chamber. Why wouldn't why wouldn't you just put the monitor outside? I'm in here with the yellow stuff. Guys, it's making funny noises. What am I doing in here? What do, I, what do I have to do? Work as quickly as I can? Shit. What am I working on? Uh... What's probably not a problem? Are you sure? A sample. Oh. Oh, it's a little... okay. Uh... Oh, let me just push that out of the way. Oh, okay. Am I... we just pushing this bad boy in? Okay, let's... What do you mean?! Oh, fuck. Oh god, you did this to me! Curse you, Simmons! You did this to me! I'll remember you in the radioactive grave! Oh my fucking god, just hide. Just hide behind the computer. Oh! Okay, and we're dead. Alright. Roll credits. Gordon Freeman's amazingly spectacular day at work. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Um, oh. Ooh. What the fuck? Unforeseen consequences. What the fuck was that? Uh, I thought I just saw the flood from Halo. You guys want to tell me what the fuck I just witnessed? Oh, fuck. What was your name again? Dude. What the fuck? This just got real serious. Alright, guys. I'm a, I'm a professional. Just another day in the office. Alright. Now, what seems to be the problem, officers? Uh, I swear it wasn't me. I, it, was the, it was the robot. Uh, the robot... Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Okay. It was the robot. He pushed the thing in the middle. Oh, I can help with that. I can help with that. Here. I'll jump on him a bit. I'm not very good at CPR, but we can make it work. Holy fuck. Ah, yeah. did that guy just get? <gasps> oh, <laughs> what the fuck? That dude just got crushed. That's his skull. What the fuck? Where am I going? This way? Oh my dear lord! I've got some explaining to do to the board of directors. This is not my fault, guys. I swear. 
It was this. It was this. It was your guys' fault. You should have been monitoring this little doohickey. Okay. Uh, I just gotta let people know that we're fucked. I think anyone can tell that we're fucked. What the hell are these things? Ay! Ooh! What the fuck? Dude, this is literally... What game did this... What year did this game come out? Is this the inspiration for the flood from Halo? Because holy fuck, I'm seeing it. I mean, parasitic life form, it's not necessarily the most original thing on the planet, um, but that's fine. It looks parasitic to me, baby. Access denied? Oh, do I have to stay in front of it? Hang on. Oh. Hey, you said you'd do a thing with the retinal scanners. I don't suppose you reconsider. Are you gonna set a what? I have to. Oh, can I just. Access denied. What? Hang on. Hello, it's me. Denied. Hmm, my eyeballs don't work. Um. Sir. Oh, now you follow me. Oh, I have to make him do the retinal scanner. Okay. For some reason, he just wouldn't follow me before. I thought he was like, I'll update the retinal scanners or whatever, so I could go through. Well, this is fucking... Oh, quick! No! Oh! Jesus, get me the fuck out of here. This is going swimmingly. Ah! What the fuck is... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Give me the fuck away from wherever the fuck that is! Oh, crouch! What the fuck? Ah! Lasers! Holy f Yes! Get me the- Quick! Get me the fuck through here. I got a weapon now, baby. In case of fire, do not use elevators. Hmm. I don't see a fire. So I think we'll be okay. I think I need an ulterior <laughs> mode of transport, don't you? Oh, this is what these ladders are for. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, is it too late to hand in my resignation? Is it too late to quit my job? Oh. Oh, I'll help you. Get this fucker. Get him. Get him. Oh, he exploded. What the fuck? Dude, this is. F Look at his chest! What the fuck is that? They are parasitic life forms. They're fucking. Oh my god. The Death Stranding hat makes so much more sense now. In Death Stranding, you get a hat that's like a creature. It's this thing! And it fucking turns you into one of those. What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude! Holy shit. Oh no. Oh, oh! They do so much damage! Uh. Oh god. How many hits do I have to. I need a first aid. Bro, what the fuck? Okay, we got one. That thing took all my health out of me. Alright. Just let them take their swings. And then you fucking... Give them the old one-two. There you go. Fuck yeah. Alright, we figured out their attack pattern. They either do a whole uh, left swing, right swing. And then, or like a... You know... An overhead swing. Fuck, man. It's it's all because of the uh, overloading the microwave, isn't it? Fuck. It is my fault. Oh! 
Okay, that's that's just okay. Dude, this is fucked up. Ooh. Oh no, it's one of those things. Turn something on. Do we interact with any of this shit? Uh, I don't think I can get out of here. Hello? I guess we're going through this thing. I see you there. Oh! Do I have to... <laughs> yeah, Get the fuck off. I'm gonna die. I need first aid, dude. Oh. There we go. Restore me. That'll have to do. Bro, the sound effects are insane. This is fucked. Ah! Ah! Nope. Oh, hang on. Is there a... can I not... Where is crouch? I need... I wish I could change it so it was not like... I'm gonna change it to shift. That feels a lot more natural. Left shift, then left control. I can put on left control quite nicely. Uh, it'd be nice if I could change it to... Toggle instead of holding, but that's fine. I will... Uh, I will work with that. I should probably save my game. Uh, okay, it does have an auto save. That's good. I'm gonna do a manual save though. I'm gonna do a manual save. Oh, that guy's fighting one of those things. Oh, he got it. Victory, dude. Get out. Oh no! Why does this glass have to be bulletproof? All the rest weren't. Oh no. The guy in the suit just came in to say, all right guys, you better not fuck this up. And then he left. And oh, this is horrific, dude. <laughs> Sir, hello, are you okay? You good now? I got you. Fucking hell, what what movies are you watching? Is this because I turned the lights off? Oh no, the lights are busted, and that's just horrifying to look at. Jesus Christ. Just uh, can you? Hmm. I just want to see if there's a primary attack, weapon category, previous weapon. Oh, using the mouse wheel. Okay. Cool. I just wondering if there's a way to like... Just wanted to see if there's a way to unequip the, uh, the crowbar for now. That's all right. Oh, fuck. Oh. <gasps> no. Do I have a gun? <gasps> I got a gun. Nice. I got a gun and first aid. I'm living the dream, baby. Watch out, everybody. Gordon Freeman's on the motherfucking job. How do you switch weapons? Because... Is there... Do I need to confirm the weapon switch? Hang on a minute. Um, switching weapons, right? So, mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down. But then how do I confirm that I want to... Because I'm mouse wheeling. But then... No. Oh, ah, I have to click. Okay, you have to click to confirm the weapon switch. Okay, we, we're good, we're good. I got it. Figuring this this shit out. What the fuck? Uh, should I? Oh, what the fuck is? Ah! Holy fuck! What is that? Why is it? Oh! Ooh! Okay, I'm glad that this game has auto-aim, because otherwise I would do so bad at this. Are those eyeballs? Are those a bunch of eyeballs? What the fuck? 
What is this? This is just awful. Oh! oh! He just got dragged and then eaten. How the fuck? Oh, are those the sound of bones? What the fuck? What the fuck? Ah! Bad dog. Oh, okay. He didn't like that. I know what? I'm gonna run out of, uh, I'm gonna run out of, uh, ammo. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> um, mm, it's like Doom, when you just, if you just fucking first day at work, just chilling out, it's like the start of Doom 3, you just fucking hang out, you're like, I'm going to work. Oh shit, demons from hell are here. I didn't ask for any of this. I just wanted a paycheck. What the fuck are these sound? Oh! 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 What the fuck is that? Oh! You fucking- you are fucking me up! You came to the wrong fucking facility, bitch! Oh my god. Uh, I need first aid again. <laughs> this is gonna... This is gonna be painful. Ugh, come on. Alright, combat is stressful. It is also difficult. Uh, you take you take a lot of damage, dude. <gasps> oh, what a waste of my... Get out of here. Don't do that to me. What do we just... Oh, we just got... Oh, we got ammo for the gun, dude. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. So, alright, I'm saving this. I'm saving this gun for the fucking... For those... Oh! I almost shot you, didn't mate. I almost shot you. You need to announce yourself. You're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. <laughs> You're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. This is as far as I go. <laughs> I refuse to go another step. <laughs> I almost shot him in the face. That dude needs to chill out. Uh, sup, baby? You wanna have a conversation? You wanna get to know each other? You have a chest mouth, dude. I, I, we just, look, like, I have deal breakers in friendships, and I think chest mouth just really is just kinda, it's just kinda one of those ones, I'm sorry. <gasps> ah! I'm sitting on one! I'm stuck! <gasps> no, no, get the fuck out. I'm stuck! I, ca I can't move. I, I can't move. I can't move, I can't even jump, I can't even crouch. I'm stuck on a monster. Oh no. What do I do? I can't even hit it. Oh, surely I can shoot it, right? Oh good. I was literally stuck on the monster, it wouldn't let me move. Great, I just had to waste bullets on that. <laughs> Fuck! So I almost just locked myself into place. Uh, what does this thing do? Oh, I'm going to drown. Okay, great. I'm... Dr I am... Dr mm -mm. Quick, shut it off! Shut it off! I'm gonna drown, dude! Quick! I'm... Dr I'm drowning. I'm... I'm... I'm gone. I just... Dr I just drowned myself! Uh, and I'm dead. That's it. That's the end of Half-Life. Oh, nice auto save. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this game, dude? What the fuck? Alright. Uh, don't do that thing, because that's a trap. What kind of pistol? 17 bullets is so oddly specific. No, we need to do the we need to do the water thing. I just need to get out of here quicker, I guess. Do I go through? Th no, that doesn't make sense. All right, fucking uh, shit. All right, what are we doing here? Is there a way? Is there a way out? Fuck! I'm just gonna go this way. Ah! Ugh! Ah! All right, I did it. Oh, hang on. Just. Alright, I need to get to... Uh-huh! 
Oh, fuck. 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 I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, no! I can't fuck... Ah! Ah, fuck. This is so stressful. Oh, there was... There was other vents. Hey. 20... 20 damage per hit, dude. Oh, my God. Get me the fuck out of here. I need my first aid. You got wep... Yeah, you got bullets. Uh, is that a lever? Haha, <laughs> that's a lever. Oh god. Ah, fucking... These are way more dangerous than the fucking Half-Life popcorns. Oh shit. Well, fuck me. Um, can I pull, bring it back up? I missed my ride. Get back up here. Come on, fucking get back up here. No? Alright, we walking. Alright, we're walking. Uh, this doesn't look safe. Ah! Okay, look. Ah, perfect. Nice. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> I was doing so well. Oh, that's funny. That's, that's, that's funny. And it is dumb. Okay. Uh, you can climb there without taking any damage. Shit, leave... Quick. Are they coming after me? I got a crowbar, bitches. Don't mess with me. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're riding this elevator down to the sewers, which apparently... Nope, I can't relax. Ah! <laughs> I can't relax! Are they... Did they just... Oh, they did. Ah! No! I'm gonna get... Stop! Ah! Are they just... Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna get killed! No! <laughs> I just thought there was only two. There's a. <laughs> I thought there was only two, dude. God, that was the sound. The sound effects so intense. Okay. Um. Shit. All right. I need to. Uh, they're just dropping down, apparently. I feel like I should shoot them. Oh! This is fucked. And a waste of ammo. Oh shit. <laughs> Can you fuck off? No! Oh, this is messed up, dude. If I just run around, potentially I'll be set. <gasps> oh no! No! If I just, if I just do, no, shit. What if I do this? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, it's its eyes and its mouth. What the fuck is that? It makes like a beeping noise. <gasps> the autosave is so kind to you, dude. It's so nice. Holy fuck. I'm so grateful for this autosave because imagine if... Imagine if you had to manually save all the time. This, this uh, sound effects is so intense, dude. Nice. I'm venting. There's two ways to drop down. No, there isn't. Holy shit, dude. Lower canal. What the fuck is that? That is literally... F <gasps> Oh, it vomits more. That is literally a flood beast from... Oh no, it's killing them! Wait a minute! What? And it's shooting acid at me. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Just hit the door open. Okay, I'm gonna go down here now. Oh shit, never mind. Oh, that fall damage was not good. 
Ah! Yep, I'm gonna die. I'm aware. That's first aid. I still have a chance, except for this fucking guy shooting acid. Please don't hit me with the acid while I'm healing. Okay, I actually don't know how he did not hit me there. Fuck you. Oh, I think I have to go onto the. Okay. How do we fuck it? How do we make this work? Right, I'm gonna shoot you first. I'm gonna hide behind here. Okay, that was death. I was like hoping that that wasn't just you getting more and more pissed off. Oh, what? What's? Oh, what's happening? What the? What the fuck is going? No! What? <gasps> oh! Oh! What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I thought that was a pole. I thought that was just a just a pole, dude. Oh. Okay, upon further investigation, they're moving. <laughs> That was just a pole. And then I was like, oh, I'm climbing the pole, but also I'm stuck. The pole's just pulling me up. Holy shit. Oh. Look at that. What the fuck? Look at that. <laughs> Holy shit, man. I can't. I can't do this shit. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh. Where's the f where I fuck? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh man. <sighs> Shit. All right. No. Some okay. Nope. Just push, I guess. Fuck. Oh. I've been put through the ringer here. This just this just escalated so fucking hard, man. Oh, I just wanted to go to work. Holy shit. Um, there we go. Okay, up. Uh, there we go. Oh, you're not going to make me jump across boxes. You are going to make me jump across boxes. Okay. God, why are you going to... Oh, this is... This is fucking stressful. Why are you making me do this? Oh, no. Mm. The most uh, forgiving autosave system of all time. I just want to say I'm grateful for that because otherwise I'm I'm fucked. Otherwise, <laughs> okay. <laughs> get me up this ladder, dude. Well, get me across these boxes. Holy shit. Okay, let's fucking jump. Ah, mm. And then we hit the ground again, and we literally took- we literally explode, man. <laughs> we literally explode! You see our bones. We explode to the point of bones being visible. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. Yes. Yes. First try. Hello? Okay, I think we're in the clear. We're in the clear. There's been no danger for a while. Which means we are definitely safe. That's definitely what that means in games like this. Hello? Anyone? Oh, okay, we're above. Okay, gotcha. I just need to let everyone know that some fucking thing happened. Uh, we opened a radioactive portal to hell. Alright, we're in the office complex. Perfect. Oh, okay. All right, everybody. We made it to the office complex. And we're in a new area. We've made it out of wherever we were before. And I think this is a good time to maybe bring this episode to a close. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Half-Life. Uh, it was absolutely chaotic straight off the bat. Uh, this game is fun, um, which is which is really cool. There's just something about this game; it's quite charming, um, and I and I really like it. And uh, you know, 
I I think the the uh, the graphics or whatever they're not awful. They're they're dated for sure, but like you know, it's just kind of charming. It's it's great. Um, and you know the you can see that like quality of audio files isn't the best thing ever. It's a bit they're a bit crackly or whatever. But the, the premise, what's going on right now, is really interesting. So there's been, an experiment has gone wrong. It was not our fault. We didn't put the thing in there. It's not our problem. We didn't do it. But now we have to fix the mess and let everybody know. Uh, those scientists down there, they don't know what the fuck. They don't know what's going on. You know, if they, you know, I've got years of experience in the industry, and they just need to screw their heads on tight, uh, or they're gonna have blood sucking alien things on their heads. Whatever. Uh, we're gonna find out what's going on next time. Uh, we'll just see what next time brings. I it's very very unexpected. <laughs> But we're going to see how it goes. So hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of Half-Life. Again, thank you so much to my patrons for voting for this nightmare of a game uh, for us to uh, experience together on the channel. And please do, if you haven't already, uh, consider subscribing and uh, and sticking around. And uh, i got a Patreon if you want to support that as well. And we got early access to videos as well. Three days early access. And uh, you get to vote for stuff as well on a particular tier for upcoming games. So with that spiel in mind, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode, and I will see you next time.